Hello there, this is Patricia from Pinky's World. Today I'm showing you how to make these cute little slider boxes using the Daisy Lane Punch and the lovely um, in colours that are uh, slowly disappearing. They're going to be, this is going to be the end of the 2018 to 20 in colours. So, Blueberry Bushel, Call Me Clover, Grapefruit Grove, Lovely Lipstick, Pineapple Punch, and Whisper White. It says the end, but the Whisper White's staying, obviously. But these are going sadly i love these colors they're so vibrant they're so beautiful just lovely lovely colors this is the pineapple punch i have used for this one this one is grapefruit grove and the next one we're going to use is the call me clover so if you like these colors get them now if you still can i don't even know if they're still available at this stage while i'm making this video but they are beautiful colors aren't they i just love them so this is a fairly substantial box and it's the inside is uh no glue you know you, you don't need glue to make it and this will fold flat for you if you want to make a bunch of these and save them for whenever you need them and they'll take up far less storage and store them like this so let's go and do what we need to do you're going to need a piece of Whisper White for your main base and it should measure um, 8 inches by 10 inches. You're going to need a piece of Whisper White for your lid and it's going to measure 7 and 3 eighths by 4 and 1 eighth. You're going to need two small pieces of DSP, 3 and 7 eighths by 1 and 1 eighth. You're going to need two larger pieces, again 3 and 7 eighths by 1 and 6 eighths this time and you're going to need one piece for the base inside your drawer and that um, is just short of four inches a fraction short of four inches by one and seven eighths so you can get all this out of one sheet of six by six so it's a great wee box you know you need more obviously for the outside but if you have any single sheets of your lovely papers left use them for these boxes the stamp set is the gorgeous daisy lane which i am um, a big fan of i love daisies for a start and it has some lovely wee sentiments so let's do it we'll start by um doing our creasing or scoring i should say um, i'm trying my best to keep this light okay for you as i struggle in the summertime with the light i have a big big window here and no matter where i put my desk it just annoys me and i'm sure it annoys you too so hopefully you can watch this okay i've sort of blank myself out here and it makes it so much darker on the screen but there's nothing we can do we just have to work with so you want to start scoring on the eight inch side at half an inch and then go to one and six eighths three inches five inches six and two eighths and seven and a half. Turn that round and we're going to score it again at half an inch. One and six eighths. Woo, see that? I need that board really tilted to my angle or it just doesn't work for me at all. One and six eighths then three inches and seven inches eight and two eighths and nine and a half and that's scored for that one done and we'll just score our band here box cover while we're at it and it needs to score at five eighths five eighths two and five eighths four inches and six inches and that's the score and hopefully all done properly so we'll do our, our main box to start us off um, we're going to need to cut a lot out of this so I'm just going to mark it up for you so you don't need we'll pull this down You'll see it closer up whenever I lift it, but I'm just going to mark these off quickly to show you what you don't need. There's 
quite a bit you need to cut away unfortunately but it is the best way to make this box it makes it really sturdy so anywhere I have an X is what we're going to cut off and you can see that gives you the basic fold shape of your car of your box so we'll just start into the cutting so cut right across in two boxes and then this one we're going to go straight up chop all those off and then cut across where you've drew your line back to the bottom and cut all those up right up past where you've drawn your line to the next Crease, and then we're just trimming those in to keep them nice and tidy. See that that's it. And then this is going to be the fold in part, so you can slip those away and then go straight up again to that score line. Turn it round and just chop all that up. Cut those in, cut that one in, and then cut those right to the end, and cut in those. I'm hoping you can see this well. I can hardly see it myself because I'm all blanked in here. I have a big board up the side of it to keep me, um, keep the light from you so that you can see it. It's not helping me much. So I'm going to cut across that line, go back down and cut all these up. So basically you're mirroring exactly what you've done over here. And it doesn't matter if you have a bit of pen mark on, these are all going to tuck in. And then you're going to cut, oh, it's nearly cut, cutting that the wrong way. So again, just slip those in. And you're back here. Cut this right up. Same level and cut that across. Trim. Trim and cut right across. And then just give yourself two clips there to finish it. And we'll get rid of our rubbish. And then get your bone folder because you want to do these really good folds. So score it well. In, in, and then the last wee half inch one goes out. Turn to the opposite side. In, in, and out. And these ones, in. Always do those wee flaps towards you. And there's your basic box shape. So what we need to do now is make it up. So we want to keep these two sitting out like this. And that gives you a wee bit of working room for this part. So you want to get your two flaps in. Make sure that's sitting up nice and just tuck that in. And all those should sit in place together nicely. Do the same at this side. Tuck your two. Oh, I'll score that one. Two flaps in and make sure you're catching them and pop this over and that gives you that basic shape and then this one's going to go down and hold it all in place for you. See it this side and there you have it. Lovely. And you get your wee piece of green that you had. I call me Clover. The biggest piece should fit in the bottom there nicely. And if it doesn't, give it a wee trim. But yes, I think mine needs a wee trim actually. Needs to be a wee mini cutter. Just it just needs to be like three and seven eighths maybe rather than um, four inches. 
just want to fit in nice and loose but not showing the underneath you know what i mean so that's that done so we need to do our covers now and again get your bone folder and do all your folds nice and crisp And we want to trim those last two that we one that's going to hold together just so you don't see the edge peeking out. And I'm just going to use glue. Flatten that down, flatten that over. And now we just want to um, decorate it. So you have all your pieces cut, the two for the top and the bottom, and these two are for the sides. And I'm just using a little glue for this. You know I put too much on because I always do. So pop that in nicely centered. Next one. Oh, sugar me timbers. So sugar, look at I'm doing. That's the worst about the color glue. It does give you lots of time, but it nearly gives you too much time, doesn't it? Just behave yourself, please. So that's those two, and you want to do these two. Isn't that paper gorgeous? Like, no matter what color you pick out of that pack, if you're lucky enough to pick one up, do because you won't regret it. The colors are beautiful. Get a pack of matching card and papers and go with it. So different from the new in colors that we have at the minute. They're more muted. Beautiful as well, but they're just more muted. Vintage anyway. So there's the next one. And that's that. So your drawer should now fit in there nicely. Please, yes. Perfect. And it's a good, sturdy, really sturdy wee box. So we want to do our flowers now and I have stamped them out already using a uh, call me clover and I'm going to punch them using the matching punches. Always cut that corner off so that you can get your punch right in there because you want to make sure you get all your leaves nice and try and hold that down so you can see it. And this is using the thick, you don't really need to use the thick one for this. Would I be able to get the angle for this? Yeah. So you could use the ordinary whisper white for these flowers. I went ahead and used the thick because it was a wee bit left over from cutting out the box. And then use your smaller punch for these ones. If you can catch the line up. It's not so much quicker than hand. I have hand cut flowers loads of times. And I don't mind actually doing it. But if you do, um, the punches are great. And the last wee thing there is the sentiment. And I'm just going to cut around it the way I did for the other boxes. And because it's going to be on the green background, I'm just going to leave it one layer. So just move your scissors and cut around that. Just leave them wee rounded soft edges.
you could punch it out with the circular punch if you want but i actually tried it in one of the boxes and i didn't like it so it's entirely up to your own taste And that'll sit there nicely and it'll show up against the, the green better than if you were doing a punch. So while you have that scrap there, cut, punch yourself out three sets of leaves, just in the white as well. If you can get three out of it. I'm not going to bother too much about missing that wee bit. I hope I need another bit somewhere. There we go. That's a great wee punch too. I treated my sap to that a while ago and it's worth its weight in gold if you just want to add plain wee flowers without stamping. Or plain wee leaves I should say. So now we need to glue our flowers together. A bit of glue in the centre of one of each. Set the other one on top. So that you're getting it central. Same here. Stagger them so that you're getting that nice layer. And when you think that's taken, turn it upside down and curl your leaves with your scissors or your bone fold. This is really thick yard, but it gives a lovely flower, doesn't it? Same for this one, curl those in. Only go a wee bit more gentle because they're skinnier leaves. You don't want to rip one off, which I have done before too. And that's going to sit inside here, but I want to put it on with a dimensional. Just to give it an extra height. And we want to do our leaves then, which I am doing with a bit of glue. Use the glue to put it where you think it's going to sit out enough for you to see it. I did forget to curl those. So you can shape those up as well. Just get the same scissors, curl them so they're going to be sticking up a bit. find this awkward oh did it upside down very good well I could actually stick it to my box like so that should look okay there I'll do the same with this one it's actually easier sticking it to your box bit of glue on that wee stem and then just line that flower up and pop that way you think it's going to look good And then we're going to pop the whole lot on with another dimensional. So that should sit about there. This one we're going to put on with dimensionals as well. Two should hold it well. And there I have three lovely boxes ready to go to whoever. Now, it wouldn't be great if you were, uh, you could make your own sweeties if you were that talented, which I am not, unfortunately. But you could fill these with lovely tissue paper and homemade sweets, wouldn't it be beautiful? So, and the colours just lovely, and that's only three of the colours. There's the blueberry bushel as well, and what did I say the other blueberry bushel called me clover a uh, lovely lipstick that was the other one pineapple punch and grapefruit growth so there you go I hope you enjoyed them oh I forgot my doodah there it is I'm gonna put a silver one on this one totally forgot that sorry about that and the pokey too use the biggest ones of these a uh, faceted gems there's, these are the clear i actually call them silver but they're clear but don't they really like silver but you can color those to match any color you wanted 
so that's another idea for you but there you go three nice flowers three nice boxes and they all look really cool thanks for watching and i hope the video is not too bouncy or light flashing here and there but you, that's going to be me for the summer months so wish me luck i'll catch you all again next week now thanks very much for watching bye